Oh, hello everybody, it's the Swedish Traveler here, how you doing? Uh, I know it's been a while since I've done a video, uh, I've been working quite a lot, as I always do. Uh, but here I am, uh, uh, I'm gonna do a video that I've done a series about, uh, and I'm gonna continue that series. Uh, and uh, this one would be the 40, 44th one in the series. And if you have been following my channel, you probably know what it is. It's my 44th top 10 list on places I want to go to. Uh, I'm gonna start off right away uh, with Hearst Castle in Hampshire. It's a uh, old school uh, fortification down in Hampshire, England. Um, it's been around since the 16, 16th century, uh, and uh, I, uh, if you, as I said, if you have been following my channel, you will probably know that I do love castles. Uh, this one uh, and this one has been around since like forever. So, and uh, I'm gonna go to number nine. Uh, it's Sorry if I butchered the name, the Baikal uh, Lake in Russia. Uh, this one looks pretty cool. It's it's totally see-through that you can just look down and see the bottom, even though it's like 30 to 40 meters down. And uh, I I would love to see that in person just to see if it's uh, if you really can see that. Uh, uh, which also leads me to number eight. It's the Karen uh, Crater Lake in Iceland. Uh, when I did see a picture of it, it actually actually looked like an eye. Yeah, it it looks like an eye. Uh, like in, with the whole iris and stuff as well. And uh, when I saw it, I was like, what? <laughs> And it would be so cool to see it in person. Uh, and uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, number seven would be the Kapini. And then the Kapini Reservoir in Karnataka in India. Uh, I think I have some information about that one though. Um, Uh, from what I can gather, it does have a lot of awesome um, wildlife uh, and uh, just a huge reservoir as well that you can just have a look around, see where you see all of the animals and stuff. Um, sorry about sorry about the delay. So, um, so that would be cool, and I haven't been to India, so that would be nice to just. Explore India as well. Uh, number six would uh, number six is actually a part of a game at this point, a kind of famous game. Uh, you might have heard it, Ghost of Tsushima. And I I actually searched Tsushima just just for fun, and I actually found out it's a actual actual island so and I was like wait a minute what <laughs> uh, I should have known that since I'm a traveling channel in a sense but uh, so Tsushima Japan uh, yeah I do want to go and see that place uh, it's is it's it is relatively small to, compared to the rest of Japan, of course, but um, it would be cool to explore other parts of Japan. I haven't, I have just been in Tokyo, Japan, so that would be cool. Uh, number five would be the Sedlec Asuari in Czech Republic. Uh, do you have some information on this one as well? I'm sorry for the delay. Uh, at least I try to. Um, it's a, uh, it's, it is actually like um, I think I have mentioned this one before. Uh, it is a 
chapel containing a lot of bones. Uh, I think uh, it has bones from skeletons up to 70,000 people. And they just put out the bones as decorations. And uh, I might be weird in, uh, weird in that sense, but I would uh, I would totally see it, see that in person. Um. So. Yeah. <laughs> Number four would be Bahrain. Um. That would be cool. And cool as well. Just uh, just to explore the Persian Gulf, going to and going to different islands, uh, archipelagos and stuff. Um, yeah, just to have a look around. Um, and number three would be in the Bewindi National uh, National Park in Uganda. Uh, I do ha I do love national parks. Uh, I find those very interesting. Yes, yes, to have a look around and go and see uh, different kinds of animals, gorillas and stuff. It would be cool to see one in person. Um, and number two would be the Fairmount Banff Springs Hotel in Canada. Uh, it, it is within the Na Rocky Mountains National Park. I think I heard somewhere that this one is haunted. Um, and if you have been following my lists as well, I, you should probably know that I do also love haunted places. Um, so this uh, this one is no exception at all. I just want to see if um, I want to experience some haunted places in person just to see, just to get the experience, if you know what I mean. Um, Number one would be the Chateau de Brissac in France. This one is one of the castles in Loire village, uh, which is a which is an area totally famous for having a lot of castles around. Um, and uh, I do love castles as well. I, if, there is a, at least th three things uh, on this list that I always have. Uh, castles, haunted places, and national parks. Uh, so, and this one is no exception at all. Uh, it's it's actually one of the tallest castles in Loire village, from what I can gather. You can correct me if I'm wrong in the comments down below. Um, and uh, I do want to see castles in person. Um, so. Let me know what you think in the comments below about this list. I will leave the list in the in the description as well, um, so you can Google them yourself just to see what see what they are all about. Uh, comment below what you think. Uh, you can like and subscribe, and if you want to support my channel, you can buy some merch in the merch shop down below. Otherwise, peace.